Okay, so I wanted to spend just a little longer on this slide. Um, we've talked about a bunch of the terms involved here, um, like entailment and um, soundness of an inference rule, meaning you only derive things that are actually entailed, completeness, meaning you can derive everything that's entailed, modus ponens we've seen, resolution we've seen. Um, but there are a few other things that I, I wanted to introduce um, that are important to know about. Um, let's start at the bottom of this slide. Um, this is um, this is entailment. We have alpha entails beta if and only if this particular uh, formula alpha and not beta is unsatisfiable. Um, so um, I just want to explain what this means. Um, so. Uh, Let's do an example. Uh, let's see. So let's say I'm trying to show that uh, if we have, uh, if we know A and we know A implies B, I'm, I, I'm wondering, gee, does that entail B? Now, intuitively, it should. If we know A, we know A implies B, then really <laughs> B ought to hold. Um, but let's let's actually do that out and make sure that that, that happens. Um, so entailment is about possible worlds. Um, B is going to be entailed by our knowledge base if it's true in every possible world where the knowledge base is true, every model of the knowledge base. Um, the worlds where the, the, the knowledge base is true are called its models. So let's enumerate the possible worlds here. So A could be true, B could be true, B could be false, uh, A could be false, B could be true, and then B could also be false. Um, I guess I can write in these here. So these are the four possible worlds. Um, and now let's let's look here. Let's uh, Let's do A implies B. So that's true here. Um, it's not true here because A is true and B is not true. And here A implies B is true because A is false. So uh, this implication is true. Uh, now let's look at our, our complete knowledge base, um, A and A implies B. So we look in this world. Well, A is true and A implies B is true. So that's a model of our KB. Here A is true. Here A implies B is not true, so this is false. A is not true, so that's false. A is not true, so it's false. So our KB only has a single model, um, this world here. Um, now uh, let's go um, see if uh, B is entailed by our knowledge base. So we look at all the models where our knowledge base is true, which is this one, and we see, well, is B true? Yes, it is. So uh, so B is entailed by our model. Now, what this little theorem on the slide shows, which is kind of cool, is that entailment is equivalent, A alpha entailing beta, some, some not KB alpha entailing some formula beta, um, is absolutely equivalent to uh, asking whether alpha and not beta is unsatisfiable. Now, a, a formula is unsatisfiable if there's no model where it's true. So let's go look and see, um, uh, make sure that is happening in our example. So in our example, this is the alpha and this is the beta. So what was it again we needed? Uh, alpha and not beta. So we need, uh, we're wondering, G is alpha and not beta unsatisfiable? Well, let's, let's take a look. So we already uh, here have uh, a and A implies B. So I guess we need, we're I'm curious about not B. So in this world, not B is false. And here 
it's true, and here it's false, and here it's true. And so now let's look at um, A and A implies B and not B. So this is true, but this is not true, so this is false. This is false, so this is false. This is false, so this is false, and that's also false. So there's no world uh, in which this is true. Um, no, there's no model for this. It's unsatisfiable. So, in fact, that's exactly what we would expect because uh, we just showed our, uh, to ourselves that um, B is entailed by our KB. Uh, so these concepts are actually identical. Um, asking whether the KB and the negated query is unsatisfiable is the same as asking whether the original query is entailed. This is the foundation of, of re refutation theorem proving. Um, the fact that you can ask if, uh, if the, uh, conjoining the negated query to the KB is unsatisfiable is the same as asking whether the unnegated query, the original query, is entailed. Um, so that's a really important theorem. Um, in propositional logic, determining uh, whether something is satisfiable is NP-complete. Um, so if someone gives you a world in which a formula is true, you can just evaluate the formula and see, hey, it's true. Um, so people who took the algorithms course will recognize this as, as NP-completeness, as a polynomial time verification procedure. Um, the flip side of that is that um, if the formula is unsatisfiable, uh, a proof of that could be really long. NP completeness doesn't say anything about um, uh, the no question. Um, so, in general, it's uh, sort of exponential time um, to prove uh, that something is unsatisfiable. Uh, okay, so so um, so that's a really important concept because that's the the foundation for refutation theorem proving. Um, I wanted to also talk uh, about this theorem up here. There's an error in the slide. I apologize. This should be alpha implies beta. So uh, some KB alpha entails a formula beta if and only if alpha implies beta is valid. So this new formula alpha implies that's supposed to be alpha implies beta. Um, valid means that it's true in every model. Um, so this new formula KB implies query should be true in every original model of the KB. And if that's true, then beta is entailed by the KB. So let's let's do that for our example. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, so now we're now we're asking. So we're asking whether our KB entails beta uh, B, uh, our KB A and A implies B. Whether that entails B, and we said this this theorem was saying that that's equivalent to asking whether um, the KB. implies B is valid, true in all models. So let's check. Let's check. Um, here we've got all the possible worlds already listed. We've got this part already listed. We've got B already listed. So let's write this new formula that's the implication. Um, A and A implies B. Um, So here, so we check this part. Is this true? Yes. Well, then B had better be true. Yeah, B is true. All right, so that's true. Uh, now, for completeness sake, let's go and check the other cases. Um, all right, is this false? Uh, is this is false, so the implication is by definition true. False. So it happens to be true in these three cases itself. Um, what the theorem says is that um, B is entailed by our KB if this statement is valid, meaning true in all models of the KB, 
um, there's only one model of the KB, remember, uh, is this line, and this implication was true. So um, that's telling us that, that uh, B is entailed. Uh, so that's handy. In general, there might be a whole bunch of models, you know, exponential number of models. So checking this, um, the validity of this implication might be an exponential time process. So it just happened that there was only one model, so it's very fast here. Um, so that's also true. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, and um, you know, grad students or folks that are into complexity might be interested to see that um, determining the validity of a formula is what's called co-NP complete. Um, it's a complement of NP complete, meaning it's easy to test a proof of no. Um, so if it's not valid, that means there's a model of the KB where the implication formula is going to be uh, false. And so that's pretty, if someone presents, say, hey, here's an assignment of values to variables, uh, a possible world where the KB is true, but your implication is false, like, that'd be very easy to test. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. So uh, hopefully, I'm hoping this slide gives you a, a better sense of the terms entailment and uh, validity and satisfiability and unsatisfiability and this neat connection to refutation theorem proving.